One of the most powerful features of Notes Plus is close-up writing mode, which lets you write neat rows of text with your finger or a stylus. To use close-up writing mode, tap and hold on the spot where you'd like to start writing. This brings up the close-up writing input box and highlights the area where your notes will go with a gray output box. Writing in the input box automatically shrinks your handwriting as you write and scrolls across the page for you as well. To use auto scroll, simply write in the input box from left to right until you near the right edge. You'll see a ghost of what you're writing appear on the left, and if you continue writing anywhere in that gray area, the gray output box will move to the right, seamlessly continuing your line. As you reach the edge of the page, the gray output box will detect your left margin and move down one line. You can see the first line in the ghosted area, allowing you to continue writing in nice straight lines all the way to the edge of the page. One of the great features of close-up writing mode is the fact that all touches below the input box are ignored, letting you write naturally with your hand resting on the screen, which is great for when you want to take notes with a stylus. If you're interested in using your iPad with a stylus, the developer of Notes Plus recommends the BoxWave stylus for best results, though any capacitive stylus should work. When you write in the input box, it doesn't move. This lets you keep your hand in a comfortable position. Instead, the page scrolls like a word processor, you can always see what you've written as you write. To change where you're writing, either tap above the input box and choose a new spot on the page, or just drag the dotted box wherever you'd like and keep writing. If you start a line in the middle of the page, Notes Plus detects that for you and auto-scrolls back to that point for the next line. This makes writing indented sections easy. It's also really easy to change where the jump to a new line appears. The dotted line on the right represents the right margin. Drag that line left to write narrower blocks of text, or right to delay the auto-scrolling to a new line and write all the way to the edge of the page. Don't forget, most of the features from full screen writing mode work in close-up mode as well. If you make a mistake, just cross it out. Tap undo to remove the last stroke, or tap and hold undo to redo something you accidentally removed. You can even change your pen settings in the middle of a word, either by going into settings or using the palette button. If you run into a situation where the automation features get in the way, you can take over. Just use the arrow buttons in the top right corner of the box to jump ahead or skip to a new line. And if you prefer, you can use a toolbar button to enter close-up writing mode instead of a long press. There's a toggle in settings called Enable Long Press for Close-up Mode that you can turn off. Of course, if you need to do something larger or more complex than this mode allows, just tap in the area where you've already written. You'll go right back to standard mode to continue writing and drawing anywhere you'd like.